Welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're gonna be opening up the September Powerful Packs box. The premier Powerful, the premier Powerful Packs box. Now this is the September box. So that means the chances of this having any sort of Inktober themed items are slim to none. But you know what? I am excited, nay, I'm determined to make it work. Let's open it up, find out what's inside and make something with it. It's like an ocean of, wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? What? The Dealer and Rowney Aquafine watercolor. There's the magic word, ink. How did I get so lucky? Okay. So Inktober, you know, the goal is to like focus on your line art and your inking. This is watercolor ink. So obviously it's probably not meant for what I might be trying to use it for, but we'll find out. Oh wait, no, look, 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 look. Look all the different ways you can use it. Dropping paintbrush and a marker as a dip pen. Mm. I don't know what that thing is. A Christmas tree, a sprayer, and on paper. So this is the color lemon yellow. Very pretty. I love it in contrast with this highlighter blue. <laughs> Another one. Ultramarine blue dark. Ultramarine pink. It needs a little shake. Oh, that's a fun sound. Maybe that finally puts a name to my favorite color. <laughs> Look at that thing. I love how like short and stubby they are. Too cute. More colors, perfect. Cadmium red hue, another very vibrant color. Something I've noticed with liquid watercolors, kind of like these, is that they are much more vibrant than pans and stuff that I've used. So I'm really excited about digging into these. Sorry, I was very harsh. Let's see, we've got maybe some papers, some paintbrushes, dip pens. Let's see what else we've got in here. There's a lot of blue maggots. Okay, we have a pan, a 10 well watercolor palette. I invested in a ceramic palette, so I might opt to use that and then this is like easier to donate, you know? Okay, we have two cards in here. One's a little thank you note. In November, we'll be celebrating our fourth year of sending fun and creative packs of art supplies to your door. Congratulations. Oh, I wasn't reading that last bit, that was me. Congratulating this adorable Pooch. Betsy. Love watercolor washes. And here we have the menu listing the art supplies for this box. I won't look too closely. I do want to see what else is in here. A little mini baby papers. We have like a, I think something's missing. Or am I just not seeing it? So these two are the Legion Paper Aqua Minis. We have a cold press and a hot press and they're tiny little pads of paper. And then this is the Legion Paper Yupo Translucent Mini Paper Pad. So it's like, it's really thick. We used something like this for inks before because it like flows better, but then it dries on it. When was that? I like how they like describe the paper on their covers. I think the cold press is the one I like. Yeah, the one with the texture. Then the hot press is smooth. I remember once we took one of these and I just filled it all with illustrations of my dog. If I can, I'll link it. I did notice that there's supposed to be a paintbrush in here and I'm not seeing it. So we may have gotten jip. Oh. See, there is a downside to having a million maggots. Things can get lost. Look, how did this even fit in this box? Crazy this month, last month. So this tiny little flat brush. Okay, so this is a number four crystal bright silver brush. And this is what it looks like. See it from every angle. You know how every year you want to like be something different for Halloween? This year, I kind of have an idea of what I would like to be, you know? I say that like I have some place to go. Sometimes it's just the making of the costume that's the best part. I'd like to do a little concepting. I do need a lot of red and blue for the costume. Leave your guess down below. <laughs> so this was everything in the September box. I might actually just grab my own paper. I really do like this paper, specifically this guy. I mean, we could focus on drawing little mini doodly drews, but I kind of want to draw bigger. I also have my dip pen handy, you know, because we are in October. So we could try it out with a dip pen as well. Let's swatch in the hot press because I don't like it as much. And then we can also mix colors because we got 12 dishes. Let me dig into them and let's uh, see what happens. Oh, I was gonna use mine. I wanna swatch this pink. Although in my realm of the world, we call this purple. Should it be mixed with any water, do you think? Probably not if we want the full saturation. But we'll add a little water on this side. Or if we want a lighter version. I don't know if it's because I mix it with water, but it is a lot more transparent, but I guess it's a watercolor, not an ink. Maybe I should read up on them. Can be diluted to achieve subtler tones. Okay, so we haven't done anything barbaric. Now in the past, I feel like I've realized that liquid watercolor doesn't usually have this graininess. So I don't know if this is different than liquid watercolor since it is watercolor ink. But let me try some of the other colors. Some I won't mix it with water before I swatch it first. Oh, don't think I dried my brush. It does look less splotchy. Dry the brush this time. 
Now, my design that I want to work on needs a really nice red, so hopefully this is that red. Oh, yes, perfect. Okay, so that was what I was expecting with the other two. So I'm thinking the other two are already diluted. So I'm gonna have to give those a new swatchy swatch. Maybe I'll just go straight out of the tube. I've heard that's a bad idea because you can get like bacteria going in there, but I mean, it's a new brush. Oh yeah, see? It still seems more transparent than the red is, but it has three stars for light fastness. Try the blue. Do you see how transparent it still is? And I know the paintbrush was dry. Try one more time. This is tricking me. Okay. It still seems really transparent. Blue doesn't seem quite as pigmented, even though in there it looks really great. Maybe I'll just have to try a new paintbrush on that. And then the yellow. Yellows usually are a little bit more transparent in my experience. Let's make sure there's no water anywhere on the barrel of this paintbrush. Just try this out. Yellow. See, look, now it's working just like the red. All right, I'm really liking that yellow and that red. It's not add water, but I definitely want this red for my design. Can we make an orange? We'll do one dollop of yellow and one dollop of red. Boop, probably needs a little more yellow. Let's we'll see what the difference is. Not much, okay, yeah, definitely more yellow. Yellow is one of those colors that kind of gets swallowed up by the others. It's like tomato soup. Ah, yeah, that's an orange. Gorgeous. I like when you can't like see the paper or like the little dots of the color, you know? You can make a green. Do a lot of yellow, tiny bit of blue. Swamp green. It has a bit of a brown tint, which makes me think that that's a warm yellow and maybe that's a cool blue and it's not mixing to the best that it could be. It's still green. I think I've made enough blobs. I want to draw something now. I think I will grab my sketchbook though. And an empty page. This isn't watercolor paper. I feel like I say that every time. I think it'll be a lot more fun to work on like a larger scale. And then potentially we could use some of this and maybe like tape it in. We'll grab my cool erase pencil. Drum roll. The costume I would really like to make is like a ragdoll costume, like Raggedy Ann. Because I like bumped into a Pinterest image three months back now <laughs> of how to make a yarn wig and it looks so easy and it like looks so cool. Sounds like uh, I need an excuse to do that. And I feel like this is just the right one. And I had a Raggedy Ann when I was growing up and I really liked it. So why not show my true love by pretending to be it? This is why I'm kicking myself. I recently donated the perfect dress. I had like a, a chambray sort of denim dress that had sleeves. I called it like my Bob Ross dress because some reason maybe they had Ross. It was like a button down. It was cinched at the waist and it kind of came out but it was kind of short. All you would have to do is just put an apron on that and get the socks and the wig and I would have been fine. And I'm just gonna use some flats that I have. I'm gonna be the weirdo that just like dresses up in a costume to sit in their own house. Probably why I usually don't do costumes even before lockdown. I never had anywhere to go. Anyway, if I could find... So that's the problem. I can't really go to thrift store. I wonder if I could just use something that I have, maybe cut it up. And I really want to do like the makeup with the fake eyelash drawing on, like especially the- Come on. Where you draw like the bottom lashes on your eyes and you do like a circle for blush and then the yarn wig. I'm thinking short. I've seen it long and it looks good, like the yarn wig long. And I also want it to be red, but like obviously it could be any color really. I mean, you could instead of doing a raggedy Ann, you could just do like your own sort of idea. Let me stick with my first idea here and then maybe we can play around with it. Like the hairs are like all big because they're pieces of yarn, you know? It ends up looking kind of like big and voluminous because it is. It would be cool to get something with a bit more poofy sleeve than what my dress originally had. Maybe a collar. It could be lower neckline. I feel like this sort of style is kind of in fashion right now, so it might be easy to find on like an online thrift store. Well, I don't like those. I feel like everyone and their mother does like a thread up sponsorship and then you're like, oh wow, look at all the cool stuff they find. And then you try to use their little coupon code and you end up with garbage that doesn't fit. Maybe that's just me. Oh. Camera agrees, or camera loves thread up. Basically, I want something like a denim kind of color or a light blue, and then you need like an apron, and you need stripy socks. I'll just wear flats because I have those. Let's all be raggy ants. <laughs> this thing was waterproof when it dry, so it's gonna lift, especially on this paper. I would like to test like a line art and see if that lifts. Little smiley face. Let's go over that with a little bit of ink. Yellow usually is the easiest to see. It doesn't smudge, but obviously the uh, pigment's a little bit more opaque. Oh wait, actually, is it lifting? Okay, it's lifting a little. That means line art should be a last step. We'll keep that in mind. Obviously you want pockets. A little more flow to the skirt, make it more interesting. 
I'll put her hands in pockets just to spite myself for getting rid of that dress. Let's add in some color. So I want the light blue dress, maybe a white apron, red hair, reddish stripes, black shoes. And then we can add maybe some liner on top of that. Let's start with the red hair. Go straight in with the color, not diluted at all. Kind of throw in one yarn at a time. Leave a little space that we can like fill in with a more diluted version. We're basically still swatching because I don't know how these art supplies work together, you know? Fill in back here. Okay, I think I want it to be more voluminous because I think the yarn hair probably, from what I've seen, take up a little bit more space depending on how much yarn you use. Let me take the orange. Probably have to go over this with the red again, but circly blushes. Red stripes. Look at these! Not sure where the skirt's gonna end up since I haven't actually painted that. Let's just do blue. Color in her dress. It still seems diluted and I definitely cleaned my brush and dried it. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with the blue, but we do actually want a bit of a lighter blue. This is probably okay. There's a little bit more pigment there. That might mean I need a bigger paintbrush. I don't know, I think it's more like the way the blue seems diluted. Like it looks like I'm smearing nail polish all over this. Grab some Draw on the shoes down here. I wonder if she'd look cuter with like brown shoes. I hate that blue, but it is the right color. It's just super patchy and nasty. I also feel like we can use yellow somewhere. I just feel like it needs it. Oh yeah, it does. That is cute. What if they're like flowers? I'll have to incorporate that better on the next go. But while that's drawing, I'm just gonna do a little sketching. Maybe with like pencil, maybe pen. I wanna try a different hair length though. So what if, hello, there it is. So if this is the head, we have our big doll eyes looking up at you. Finish off the chin. You know what length we're dealing with for the face. Scalp's probably like here ish. Some eyebrows. Doll eyelashes. I guess the mouth would go here. We want more like a Cupid's bow mouth. That's a little bitty boop. So I'm thinking maybe instead of the hair being like this sort of awkward shoulder length, we either go like way shorter or way longer. Let's try longer first because I think I'm gonna end up with shorter. And I also saw how you can add bangs. We'll keep with the bangs since I have a six head. Make give them some yarn texture. And then let's try braids. And again, we want lots of volume on top because it's just all that thick hair. When you make one of these, you can do it so that like, if you want to do ponytails, you basically sew the yarn along here. But for the most part, you just create a part where you sew all the yarn together and then it just drapes over your head. Really quite simple, but it looks spot on what it should. So it's going to be the same volume all the way around, including the very top of the head. Let's try it with braids. And they'll be very thick braids because the hair is the same density all the way through. And you're gonna see all of the hairs because they're so thick. Forgot how to draw braids. And essentially, it would look more like this than that. And you have your big chunks of hair in the end. Yeah, I do like it, but I also want to see what it looks like short. Let's try adding in the red and see if it bleeds with this pen. Blocks over it. Interesting. I love that red, that like <laughs> Crayola red hair color is so cute. And then the yarn texture just adds that extra mm -mm like in real life, and I'm not talking about this drawing. <laughs> now if I could find a way to use the blue properly, that would be just wonderful. We could just dilute the red with some water. And that'll be a slightly pinkier for the cheeks. Maybe a red nose as well, and then red lips. So that's an option. Gives off the doll vibes. You know what I remember my doll having? She had like those little bloomers and like obviously her dress was a lot longer. I'm thinking the apron should come up higher too or this neckline should be lower. Maybe more eyelashes on the top. The big highlight. Is this a costume you're allowed to wear if you're over 18 and have no kids? I'm having second thoughts, but I do want to keep designing it. Let me try one with the shorter hair. See if I like that better. Big doll eyes, little nose, little mouth. Look, like that looks very doll-like. I think I'll keep the bangs. I'm definitely settled on the bangs idea. 
Let's draw you like really short. This would be so fun, but I'd have to find a way to hide my hair. And then you could put like a little hairband, a yellow one that like ties. I don't know what it would look like if you made it this short. And I think you'd probably have to do something a little different in constructing it. I bet you buying one thing of yarn though, you might have enough to make both of these. Then you can make that decision afterwards. That's cute, but I don't think that's how it would fall. Tries again. We got the bangs. Maybe we'll go with like a chin length. I just like the idea of doing a length that like I'm too scared to cut my own hair. Because you know, it's a costume. Non-committal. See, now that's cute. I do like that. Now with the outfit, does it look all right? Apron. I drew the shoulders really big. Some kind of collar would be cute. Got a little red. This time it's diluted a little bit, so maybe you'll see the lines better. I do think I like the short hair. Should we try and do the blue? Maybe I'm gonna use this guy. We're gonna drop some more blue in it and see if maybe I just had water in there or something and it's just messing with it. Here's some blue. No water added. Mm -mm -mm. Blue, look at that. That's not right. Do I need to like shake it maybe? You know what? I bet it's separated. Try again. Sticker already. Was that our problem? Still weird. Do you see how there's like texture in it? Like you see every stroke. Why would you disappoint me like this? It looks like poo poo. I don't like it. Why can't you look like the red? Let's try something a little different. Start with a pencil and take our time. I feel like I rushed these a little bit. But let's move that over and try to design the outfit. I'm gonna just use that same pose so that I can focus my attention on something else like the design <laughs> and make that better. A little different. Maybe poof sleep still. And then the apron and then do I want the skirt to be longer or keep it about there. So there's the base. Now from here I want the shorter hair so it's like chin length. Let me figure out where the chin is. Looks like we have like eight chins here to choose from. The eyeballs. Eyebrows. Ears. So we want the hair to be about chin length. Let's just draw a shape in there. And then we can draw in the little yarns following that shape. From the eyelashes. Thinking about bringing the neckline down a little, even though this area is definitely gonna be limited by whatever I can get my hands on. So let's just go for the best design we can. Converse would be cute too, but I don't have any. Let's slim up the shoulders because that's probably something I might be able to find. <sighs> Do I want to try and make something? I saw one, I think one on Pinterest where someone was doing this costume and they added yellow floral. Kind of like how I added some yellow over here and I feel like it made a big difference, but I'm not sure. What if it's like a chambray dress, but it's short sleeve and that's like buttoned? down like that and then there's like a yellow blouse floral maybe with a collar go here and then maybe that's actually a dress too that's just layered under it and then apron with a tie in the back we want a straight apron kind of like the curved i feel like that's more doll like I just want to like stay as far away from like made as possible. So I think by adding all those different textures that'll help and then obviously like the yarn wig <laughs> Arms. Why do I keep putting arms off to the last second? Also think like some kind of bow in the hair or like hair clips. Peace sign. No, 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 no. I feel like just the arms straight down gives it a bit of a doll-like pose. Maybe the dress should be a lighter blue too to give that red a little bit more space to like pop. Shrink it down. Okay, I like this way better. Might just dilute all the colors so you can see that like pencil sketch underneath for this one. Maybe just clean it up a little.
feel like this looks a little less third grader. Just a smidge. So let's go with the diluted red. We'll go over all the red areas. It's already gonna get kind of muddy because of the graphite, but I'm thinking if I just diluted a smidge, we'll get that fun sketchy texture that I love. I like when everything looks like a sketch. It's just more pleasing to me. And some red stripes. The red stripes right? Is this supposed to be like blue stripes maybe? Something about it just looks like a Christmas elf to me. The candy canes. Yellow for the underdress. Oh, I didn't dilute it. Shoot. Well, it's yellow. It's probably gonna be see-through anyway, let's be honest. That actually looks cute. Kind of looks like Ronald McDonald. I'm gonna try it with a bigger paintbrush. Even though we're probably gonna end up with these streaks, there'll be bigger, wider streaks that you might not notice as much. But this should do. It's a lot bigger. Make sure it's nice and diluted. Pale blue. Oh, it might be a little too diluted. Since I'm trying to just leave it there so that it doesn't end up being super streaky. I might do one more layer when it dries instead of trying to lay it on thick at the beginning. For the yellow, I wanted to add some kind of like texture, floral or something. So I'm gonna take the red, try and do that. Just to draw little things. Oh, it's a little still wet. Ooh, see this is a fun way to use this. Ooh, look, we could do this for the yarn. You just draw every piece. I'm also tempted to just use this as line art since I use all these pastel colors, you know? <gasps> look how cool. So we diluted it for the wash and then used the straight pigment for the line art. It complements itself so well. Try going over with our big paintbrush again and the diluted blue. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of that problem, but I'm gonna move quick. But I think that's a better blue. Doesn't look like that. But we'll use this with some yellow in this thing. Just use a line art for that. Let's do flats this time. Shading. You can use that red ink for liner here though. Separate these colors. Okay, now it looks a lot more like candy cane. This might have been a bad idea. My little flowers. Oh, fun textures. I love textures in art. It doesn't even have to do much. Just a little bit. Like, this is such a difference. Maybe shade this in with it. I'm thinking adding like some embroidered flowers or something. Just in the corner there. Yellow. Kind of hard to see, but I guess that's to be expected. We are moving in the right direction. I could almost say done. Maybe need to tweak the apron a little bit, but I love the idea of the denim dress not having sleeves and then finding some floral, bright yellowy kind of color. Maybe that will make me look even paler. It will give me more of a doll-like appearance. Maybe that's for the best. You know what I'm tempted to do? I want to draw this outfit as like an actual doll. So like a giant Big round head, tiny body with the little legs. Like a plushie. I think the head should probably sit right on the shoulders. Let's keep that design same. Little yellow leaves, buttons, collar. This is yellow. Got an apron. Dress. Little yellow poking through down here. No, no, no. Reverse, reverse. A little better. You'll have the little yarns of hair. And I want it to be chin length. Brings it down to about there. And then her bow. And then a bow back there. Let me throw a little color on there. So they're all pre mix. And then I am excited about doing a little texture thing for the yellow part. Grab the red here. It'd be fun to do like a purple hair. I think I'd have to change everything else too. And I feel like I got a good thing going here. 
darken that up. Yeah, the bigger paintbrush definitely helps, I think, with the strokes and streaks as well. And that has to dry. Let's do something while we're waiting, shall we? I'm gonna take one of these out because it's so weird. With a translucent finish. Wait, then I could... That was still wet. My bad. Oh, it's like blood streaks. Now it's a Halloween costume. I kind of just want to like throw paint on it. This looks disgusting. Like smearing food on your napkin. What if I just drop some of this on it? It's yellow. Interesting. It's almost like acrylic pouring. I'll let that dry. See what happens. Let's take some of this. This is the cold press, so it's got a nice texture to it. I'm gonna sketch a little on here. And we'll draw this little like, lady. Jar from what we figured out. The bangs that look like spaghetti. And then the chin length hair. I think I do like the little extra frizz. I need a body in here. Deeper neck, collar, and then we have poofy sleeves. Proportions are a little off, but it's big enough where I think I'll be able to add what I want to. Oh wait, we need the bow. Throw in some of the color. Yellow here and here. Here. Oh, look how much different the, this ink soaks into the paper. I'll use this big guy for the blue. Diluted. Let's do the hair. Make sure there's definition between the pieces. Get that yarn-like appearance. I'm gonna let that dry. We'll do like line art and stuff after that. We want to add the fun texture. Grab the thread with a dip pen. We draw in our little flowers and some polka dots as well. I think the floral texture is a great addition. Looks so good. It adds that little pop of interest that it really needed. Add that to the apron. Is that too much? I think Raggedy Ann has a red nose. It looks like a clown, but the outfit is clowny enough where, like, who cares? Not like it pulls away from anything. And then those eyebrows are just half circles. Grab this guy. Those eyebrows. Add a little line art to the hair. Add a little texture to it. Look how much detail I can get on this. Add some line art to the eyes. Maybe everything else. And liner everywhere it's needed. Oop, I think I have some paper stuck to the nib. It's blapping. Yeah, it's working. I think my favorite part and takeaway of this is the yellow with the red flowers. If anyone's seen any clothing like that, link me. Okay, how's this thing doing? It looks very wet still. Kind of like tempted to just smoosh it onto the peach. I also think it needs a little bit of a background. Green color. I guess we're going in. Oh, that looks good. Like with the red hair, you know? Oh, I didn't add liner to that. Now it might be too late. The green turned out nice, didn't it? Very sketchy day today. Oh, I know what she's missing. The little circle cheeks. I think this is my favorite. This guy right here. Ugh, I want this to dry because I want to know what it'll look like. You know what would be cool is if it had like spritz of something. Grab some water. Do one of these. It had a little something, but I think it needs more. Maybe this bigger brush. Some water. But it looks cooler now. I like the little green dots. Still very wet. Let's tape this guy in. There we go. Cute. I do think the apron's really important. I don't know if I ever had a doll growing up that didn't have an apron on, which is weird to me now that I'm thinking about it. Use up some of this orange. Just drawing hearts all over everything. Cause why not? 
getting a little lost in the doodles. Let me know what your plan is for Halloween. I know the world's a little messed up right now. Can't really do what we usually do, but let me know if you're thinking about dressing up. And if you are, what are you planning on dressing up as? Third question, would you consider wearing this, huh, huh? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in getting your own Powerful Pack subscription, I'll have a link in the description. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!